Hi, my name is Eric Kaiser and I am a CSC for Cisco, uh, what's now called the Content Security Team. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the WSA uh, via command line. You can also do it through the GUI and I'll just give you a quick overview. Um, currently the version that my WSA at is at is around 750.826. Um, because of that, I no longer have to go into um, the upgrade and update settings and actually disable the automatic updates. If you're on a version prior to 7.13, let's say, you will actually have to come into oh the automatic update. So this is actually changed in 7.5. On 7.13, it'll actually be midway, about two thirds of the page down. You'll actually have to uncheck the automatic updates, submit down here and then the commit button uh, oops excuse me the commit button will actually light up here uh, but since I'm on 75 in other words I'm 713 or past I do not have to disable the automatic updates if you're on a version prior to 713 I highly recommend that you uncheck the automatic updates submit commit your changes and then I also recommend that you also go to your configuration file and download a copy and it's very simple you just uncheck and you have to uncheck the mask passwords in the configuration files otherwise your config file will be worthless once you've done that you can choose to email it to yourself here or you can just download it um, to your computer which is exactly uh, I'm going to download it to my laptop so I'll go ahead and save it I'll say hey keep it since I'm using Chrome and uh, that's now completed. So now, um, if I wanted to, I could go through the GUI on 7.5 and do a system upgrade. Um, all I've got to do is, like you saw, system administration, system upgrade takes me to this screen, click on available upgrades, and then I can click on select the build I want and then begin upgrade, but I'm not going to do that for this video. Um, I'll probably do that for another video just so people can see it for what it is. Um, but what I am going to bring up is my command line. Now, the easy way to do it, um, it's actually called upgrade. Pretty simple command. You just hit enter. And we're going to get prompted for a series of questions. I'm going to make this bigger. Actually, let me stretch this out a little bit. There we go. And it says, what, the first thing it asks me is, do I want to save the current configuration? Um, to the configuration directory before upgrading. No, because I've already just backed up my configuration file, so I really don't want to do that. And then it essentially gives me the list of my available upgrades, which I only have one. Uh, others may have more. Um, if you're on like a 6 version because of an RMA, um, you may want to call into support and ask, hey, what version can I go to? Um, you can attempt to go from like 6.5 to 7.13, like 0.21, which is a pretty stable build at this point in time. Um, 7.5.8.3.3 is also turning out to be a fairly good build. Um, so let me think if I can uh, remember anything else that might be of use to, uh, to the folks watching this video. Um, can't think of anything off the top of my head anymore. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'm going to proceed with the upgrade. Uh, so it's performing an upgrade may require a reboot of the system after the upgrade is applied. Um, you may log in after this is done. Do you wish to proceed with the upgrade? Of course I do. So it'll definitely have to reboot. So then it once again informs you, hey, this upgrade will require a reboot once it's finished. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return. And here we go. Now, one thing to note is you can see down here where it says finding the partitions done, setting next boot partition, erasing uh, new boot partition. One thing to note is the reinstalling async OS ETA. Notice how my clock is going down. If your clock is high, and I'm this 17 minutes is, is is pretty high, but it can get in the hundreds of minutes. If so, do yourself a favor do it in the evening upgrade in the evening chances are there's a lot of network congestion coming into the uh, into the Cisco network 
where the WSAs from all around the world are getting their updates, getting their upgrade information, um, and that causes huge latency and it has the potential to cause upgrade failures. Um, and it'll the the message will bark at you. Hey, there's too much network latency. Doesn't necessarily mean your network has latency. It more than likely is referring to the point from your WAN interface to Cisco's WAN inter WAN interfaces. Um, so uh, if you run into that, um, just kind of beware. And uh, I wouldn't freak out and call support right away. I would just schedule it for at night and you'll probably have a lot better success.